Hello everybody, today I'm going to be seeing how quickly I can get 10,000 Yorick shillings. I'm just gonna like go on my training route and like do the daily quests as they're there. I think most of like the daily quests that are only once or twice a week are on like Thursday. But I'm doing this on Saturday because that's when I'm gonna have the most time. Um, first, I have like 970, yeah, 970 Yorvik shillings, so I need to spend those. And right now, I just ran out of food, so we'll just get like four oranges and the small piece of hay. And then I'll have 20 shillings, which is, is close enough to zero. Although I'm not going to be able to trailer. Did not think that through. Um... We'll just do one of uh, one of these uh, stable chores first. Speaking of which, I really do like the really do like the new update with like you can do your own stable chores in your home stable. I feel like I didn't talk about it much in my last video, but I did really like it. <laughs> um, oh, that horse is cute. I've been I've been debating getting this horse actually. Like, mm. Okay, anyway, Black Mustang. Uh, let me know how the audio quality is. I'm trying to get my microphone set up, but, uh, but, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure, so tell me what you think. So my training route starts at, so my training route starts at Starshine Ranch and, uh, then the Druid Paddock, but they don't have any, like, of the dailies there. I mean, there's the races and stuff, but I'm not gonna do those, I'm just gonna do the dailies. And I'm kind of excited to, like, revisit them, you know? Bro, okay, I, like, sprained my finger on Thursday. So that was two days ago. I think I sprained it, because it, it still hurts. Like, I don't know if I should go to the doctor. Uh, I guess I'll do the stable chores. They're uh, pretty boring, but, I mean, they are daily quests, so. Uh, maybe I won't count them, because they're not in the dailies, they're in the chores tab. Uh, but just to get this whale, I guess I'll do this one that I just accepted. Yes, I just wanted an excuse not to do these, because obviously they're really repetitive. That's so cute, oh my gosh. I do not like this horse, but with this mane? Is this mane even available on the Shires? I don't even know if it is. I don't want to look, because that's actually so cute. Okay, getting sidetracked, but it's okay. Or maybe this horse has just grown on me. Like, it's kind of nice. I don't know. You can have this mane on them. Oh my gosh. See, I'm wanting this one too. Or no, not that one. This one. Okay, I want this horse now. That's not That's not the point, though. <laughs> so it looks like there's some things here. I know there's one with, like, Felix where you have to collect flowers. Coffee shop needs pastries. Gotta go to Fort Pinta. Okay, I'm gonna try not to trail alert anymore this video to be as accurate as possible. Like, Fort Pinta isn't that far, so. Camp Western is next week, which is exciting. I loved it. Loved it last year. Um, yeah, the wolves were a little annoying, but, like, it was a, it was a nice event. It's probably gonna be less fun this year, since, I mean, we had it last year. Um, for the first time, so hopefully they add some, uh, cool new stuff. I got the orange chicken, but not the white chicken, so maybe that'll come back. Oh, they- they're adding a dog. Like, instead of a bandana, it has a collar. Which is just, like, I don't know why it looked so cute. And then I think they're also adding a couple of roosters. And they'll probably bring the chickens back? I don't know, though. Because, um, uh, they don't tend to- retire new things anymore like you know not a lot of limited edition stuff i spent way too many star coins on this outfit i bought the shirt bridle and um boots all with star coins i mean they're nice i just <laughs> i did not have the patience to save up i try not to buy uh clothes with star coins but here are all the daily quests there's like like seriously when's that last time they added like a daily quests I know nobody likes them, but also, I don't know, just add some more charm, I guess. Maybe you could get a little something more from daily- oh, not supposed to use a trailer. <laughs> I'm 
I wish you could get, like, a little more from daily quests. I'm not sure what, though, because, like, you just get shillings and reputation, but reputation isn't that useful, and the shillings aren't that much, and why, like, if you're trying to get shillings, training your horse is, like, a lot better since you're doing two things at once. Like, unless you're bored of races and don't have any horses to train. But, like, I don't know what they'd give you. Because horse XP, like, that'd be nice, but also we have so many more ways of earning it, and, like, feels like we should get something else. They could give us more shillings? Or some kind of perks? I don't know. Okay, but this is really nice just, like, running around. Won't they add a well here? That's cool, I guess. Like, I don't know, It's this is just pretty fun, because they're, like, old quests and it's kind of nostalgic. Because most of these were, like, actual, actu actual quests that gave you, like, character XP and stuff. But then you can repeat them. Uh, pretty sure, like, all of them are. So it's just nostalgic, and I, I really like it, actually. Oh, I forgot to say what time I started this. So I started this at, uh, like, 9.20. Kind of important if we're seeing how long it takes. Okay, I turned my sound on, which I don't really, I don't, uh, I don't usually do, and I am vibing Look at these flowers. I want to go and identify all the flowers in Star Stable. Like I know these are marigolds. I'm very interested in plants, and I just, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I forgot to mention what horse I'm riding. This is Russet. Right now she's a mare, but like. I honestly can't decide on her gender. And flowers for Felix. Like I've I've done some of the I've done some I've been doing some quests on my alt account with like the free star uh not star codes um star rider codes. But like doing it on your main account is just I don't know. I guess for something to talk about is like how I sprained my finger. I was. Uh, being forced to play kickball in gym class, you know? And I just, like, I fell on it and bent it backwards. I mean, actually, I don't know if anyone wants to hear about that, but in case you did, there you go. Just got done shearing the sheep. Oh, I have to give this to the tailor. When people say, like, making clothes out of, um, like, wool is bad, like, what do you mean? It's bad to not shave them, because they'll get overheated and stuff. So, like, why not use their wool? I mean, I doubt people are killing sheep just for their wool when it's... When you can just shave them. Anyways, that's random, but... I think next I have the observatory, um, dailies. Which, uh, I guess I have to do. But I do not really like them. They are the ones that are only available on specific days, though, so, you know, maybe we'll get lucky. Will you be interested in a video of me, like, trying to identify all the plants in this game? Like, um, I would, but... <laughs> Not a lot of people on right now. This music, ah. Uh, <laughs> I can't get over this, honestly. The bulldozers still have their old models. Right now I'm at 310, so want an update on that. This old art. We only get five Yorvik shillings from this too. Okay, but I'm loving these new like basic bridles. They're not that different, but they're so good. It's really nice that they made the observatory race 250 because it used to be 125 when it's a pretty long race and you have to work so hard for it. It is a good race though. It's fun, especially with the new Valdal. I'm not gonna lie, the announcement sounds here at the racetrack kind of creep me out. <laughs> Bro, I swear I see cocoa rose water everywhere. Um, so now we are doing some garden stuff. Same with the garden race, only giving you 150 horse XP. Like, they should have upped it with the observatory race because of- Now I'm gonna go see if Maya's quests are available. Um, that got me thinking, there's like- those are like some of the newest, uh, daily quests and that- that was at least two years ago, maybe three or four. Like, I don't know if you can still do Beatrix's daily quests. You know, I think you can. I think you can.
hand to Lou Beatrix's daily quests. You know, the little, uh, cap, cap, I don't know, freaking Capricorn. <laughs> no, I don't know what they're called, but, you know, the library goblin. Fishing. Who doesn't hate it? Okay, that was kind of nice, actually. Uh, things tend to be less annoying when you don't feel like you have to do them every day. <laughs> Not archaeology, though. Archaeology is always boring. So my treading route gets kind of weird after Dundle. So, uh, if I'm not going to use the trailer, I guess it's a good thing I live by Golden Hills where there's a ferry. Because I literally, I go from Dundle to South Hove. You know, looking at these, maybe there are more um, new dailies than I thought. I'm really starting to think I should have waited until Thursday, because, you know, there's a lot of dailies that I have not been seeing. What is this? Why is... why is he here? Is it from that one quest with, like, the potholes, you know? Or the holes made by the chipmunks? Why is he here? <laughs> he has the chipmunks spinning, spinning around his head. He's not usually here, is he? Hasn't been here since the quest, I don't think. It's a little weird. Someone might want to check on him, actually. Might be dead. Oh no, he's moving, he's fine. Wonder if there's anything at the mall. We'll go check. There's nothing in any of the Jorvik City places. Uh, I mean, I haven't checked Pier 13 yet. Is it bad I'm still scared of Pier 13? In my Reading Star Stable rev Reviews uh, video, someone said like they couldn't play other video games because like, it made them too anxious. I get more anxious playing Star Stable than Red Dead Redemption. I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, nothing here either. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's like a lobster guy. I'm not even at a thousand star coins and I feel like I have so few left. Bro, this person's horse is named Doctor Doom. That's really cool. That's a really cool name. Got any other horses? Uh, Woodcraft, Hawkflyer, and uh, Milk Mother. They're going good till that last one. Anyway, we need some Miss Holdsworth daily quests. Like, do we usually on certain days or not? Because, like, if we don't, we need some. This is my least favorite fisher guy. Uh, no reason, just... Just don't like him. Behind the... You're making me go to the riding arena. Maybe this is why I don't like you. I take it back. Uh, fishing... Fishing sucks. I want to feed the cow. I wish that quest was available right now. Because you fear dandelions when she's depressed and then she gets undepressed. Wish that worked for me. Yeah, they added a new hair salon here. I didn't look at. Um, last update. Getting off track. Just go with it, okay? Wait, that's actually really cool. Like, I wouldn't use it personally, but I know that a lot of people would love it. I'm sorry, I hate these double braids so much. I want freckles on my character because I have freckles, but like these ones are ugly. These ones are better, but I don't love all the makeup. Like it's fine. Okay, I actually have another weird thing about my training route. I go from Nilmer's Highland to Valdal, so I'll have to run over there. Like, uh, Wildwoods. Not this part of Wildwoods, but, um, you know, like the village. Um, it's cool and all, it's just I cannot stand the NPCs. And that really sours it for me. Plus, like, I don't know, the vibe is just off. I don't know. And then with, like, Tail Top or whatever else this place is called. Again, it's just, just a little out of place. Maybe not as much with the new store stable, which I know, like, it being in place with the old store stable doesn't matter. It just... Also, apparently these horses can write letters. Okay, so we are definitely not making it to 10,000 shillings by doing all our dailies. So I guess now we're just seeing how much we can get. But it's okay, because, you know, we're just having fun. Jog longer than that, and I suck at it. Okay, but I just realized the Akletex and the Curlies got moved here. It's pretty interesting. Anyway, I hate this guy so much. Whenever, even if I do all my races, like, I never let him ride on my horse, because, no. See, I'd rather have this trash bag ride on my horse. Okay, I like, I love, like, horse-drawn carriages and carts and stuff. 
and this old crusty horse, oh my gosh. But he's also really cute. Okay, so these newspapers are called the Yorvik Gazette, and I'm wondering if the Yorvik Gazette was a thing before, um, you know, the quest with that one girl with the Arabian in Yoroheim. Because I think it actually might have been, but I'm not sure. And if they did pay attention to that detail, like if it, well, either way, they paid attention to that detail, which is cool. So the quests are some of the most nostalgic. So then I was thinking, like, about the, I think it's like Bear Something Island over there. Um, It's like that locked area that everybody forgot about. I mean, it's not very big, and we'll probably never get it. Like, it's not, not important or anything. Yeah, here it is. Um, Over there, you can see it. But, like, I don't know. It's just, like, it reminds me of the Saving Herman quests, which are some of the most nostalgic ones for me, and it's... I don't know, it's pretty cool. I'm just, like, coming to Crescent City for the first time. Crescent City? Crescent Moon? Isn't there a book called Crescent City? I don't know. Anyway, now there's, like, what? Did they move the nap strippers here, too? I remember coming here for the first time, and there's all the Parisian sport horses and uh, thoroughbreds, and uh, it was so cool. And this music? like freaking superhero music okay now harvest counties has a lot of daily quests like all the rest of these are, har are uh, harvest count oh wait there's some from dino valley which i forgot about but other than that these are these are all uh, harvest counties i love storm garden so much it's such it's such a cool place oh my gosh i didn't know the dressage was staying Hold on, I'm gonna interrupt these guys' flat shows for a minute. <laughs> See the red ribbon on their tail? Doesn't that mean that a horse, like, might kick? Oh, well, they disappeared. But, uh, when you put, like, a red ribbon on your horse's tail at a show, isn't that warning you that they might kick? And then the Dartmoor ponies have that one animation where they're, like, pawing the ground. So, like, that horse can actually, like, kick. That's random, but, um cool so <laughs> okay guys so i have finished all my dailies any of the ones here either give you horse xp or don't give you uh norvik shillings i severely overestimated how many uh coins i would get but to be fair usually there are a lot more daily quests i just picked a bad day um either way this took me over three hours seeing as some of the clothes are like almost 10,000 each, and that's the max. It's it's a little much, but I did have a lot of fun, and I feel like I bonded with Russet. I don't know if that sounds weird, but you know, and usually this was like, stress me out, this didn't really work, but I had fun, and I hope you had fun, and that's just what matters. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, bye!